It's in the rise of a titan and time is arriving. This is how it feels when the guys in alignment. Lost to the purpose and blind to my assignment. I crawl to the surface from gutters I should have died in. Deep pain, I'm covered in scars you could dive in. Reborn, something kept me on, letting life in. I cannot explain this breath that's in my lungs. My destiny set in stone so death can never come. Long live the king, down but never done. It'll be a thousand years for you crown a better one. I was born to rule, let the rain commence No escaping this, I was chosen, I was made for this Now king me This is in the blood, I'ma let it run free I was born to rule, I'ma be me Anybody try to rise and defeat me I shut them down easy King me This is in the blood, I'ma let it run free This is destiny, time to be me Anybody try to rise and defeat me I shut, shut them down easy, easy. King me. I ain't even gotta tell y'all that no more, cause it's already been done, you know? The king has the crown in his hand. He don't put it on his head, bro. He don't need all that. But to continue our journey and finding out who's also going to be a part of the Elimination Chamber, we have a one on one matchup scheduled between Alucard and Code and X. Two men that would love nothing more than to step into the ring with King, but only one of them will have the chance to earn the opportunity to potentially do so. And then we're going to be kicking off the semi-finals of the Cruiserweight Tournament here tonight. Jushin goes one-on-one -on -one with Kevin, and then next week, Scatino will go one-on-one -on -one with Scotty. And our tournament finals will take place at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. But we got a heavy, heavy hitter for the main event tonight. Tala goes one on one with Travis Amir in an elimination chamber qualifying match. I'm expecting the two of them to beat the life out of each other. You know, that's all I'm expecting. I don't want to see nothing else. That's it. But if I'm speaking about people beating the life out of each other, I have to address this woman here. Yo. Yo. Mm hmm. Hey. Hey, look, look, I can vibe with the women's champion all day long but this is not the usual women's champion that we're used to seeing you know because mercedes has a really really deep complex going on at the current moment the women's royal rumble winner marilyn lopez is not being cleared for the wrestlemania matchup that's supposed to take place between the two of them. Now, I can tell you this, at some point in time during this week, we're going to be able to say that we have an update. Maybe next week, maybe next week we'll find out the verdict on, I guess you can say the injury status of Marilyn Lopez and what exactly will come about, you know? Because we have yet to be able to address it because there hasn't been any clearance. You know, she hasn't been cleared to compete. And just now is the moment where we're even going to get anything. Like now she's going to go and see the doctors. You know, she's going to go get cleared. And everything should be all right after that point, you know. But nevertheless, again, a frustrated mercedes is what our newcomer victoria must deal with here tonight and oh victoria not even able to get into the ring look at this look at this, this is what i'm talking about mercedes is a woman on a mission and her mission is to defeat the very best and if she can't do that it don't sit well with her Oh my god, starting this one off with a huge disadvantage, a boot to the face and a cover. Mercedes got to keep the attitude in check.
No, oh, power bomb from Victoria now. She's got to bounce some offense. She's got to like close the gap that was created in the beginning with that just just miniature attack from the women's champion like this is a chance for her to show the warzone universe what it is that she's able to do and that opportunity just almost just got thrown out the window it's, got, it's like you gotta understand the the frustrations that mercedes is dealing with and it's shocking to actually hear it, but the MVP wants to compete against Marilyn Lopez at Revelations. That's what she wants. That's what she wants to do. But if you're not able to do that, what's next? You know, because at the current moment, Marilyn Lopez is the very best that she could be competing against. But I don't know. All of that is to be determined next week as Mercedes is now starting to trim down any shred of momentum that Victoria may have had. And these well-placed kicks to the face. I wouldn't want none of this. I wouldn't want none of this, bro. She's kicking you in the face and now she's about to fold your shoulder. And she's still not done. Guess what? Because those knees go right to the back. It's a very methodical pace has been taken by the women's champion, but lights out for Victoria. No cover. No cover being made. Mercedes wants to take out every bit of frustration that she has on the newcomer. But you're not going to be able to do that so lightly. Do you know why? Because Victoria, just like right now, is showing you that she's a house of fire. Oh, but that knee, that knee can turn your lights out. Oh, that's tough. That's even tougher. Wow. I'll kick right up. Let's go. She ain't staying down for none of that. I hope that she's actually concerned with like the referee's count and she don't just let it go to a count out because we've seen what type of state she's in. And whipping her head down. The referee's count is at seven. Now she said, uh -uh, I'm going to throw you back in there. Ain't no easy entrance to the ring. Oh, she says boxing time. Let's go. Let's go. Springboard. Forearm. You know what? Oh. Not the surprise? The surprise roll? Oh. She's like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's how you want to play it, huh? That's how you want to play it, huh? Mercedes better be careful if she's going to find herself in a loss here tonight until she kick you in the chest. Victoria is for damn sure handled the pressure really well of this over the top aggressive women's champion has been in her path. Now, oh my God, again, just shutting down the offense. She's getting the life stomped out of her now for all her good efforts. She's gonna choke her out and no oh, knees right to the chest. And every ounce of breath that just got taken away. And she gonna round her up and knock her down. In the simple fashion of the MVP. Oh, she kicked out.
Victoria is trying her heart out to hang on. Oh, Mercedes with a mistake. We don't often see those. Oh my God, but she's just so far gone. Oh, no, she's not. She here. She's here. Let me find out. Decapitator. I like it. What are you gonna do, bro? You, you just let her roll out the ring. You had her in, in, in your hands and you just let her go? Oh no, you said she ain't going nowhere. She ain't going no Ooh, clear the deck. Clear the deck, boy. I said clear the deck. My god, the lethal striking of Mercedes. She took that like that was nothing. No, but she fell down one. I don't even know what to call it anymore. It's just like she's almost just fighting on instinct alone. I got a six says boy. Decapitation. Don't get back in there. I don't know why you did it. Oh, now she's going to play with you. Now she's going to really play with you. Ooh, slice that. Down on the knee. That's tough. Mercedes was off her game and started this matchup again, just wrestling with the emotions of the entire situation going on. But the hell with that situation. Go to sleep. She's still not going for a cover like that was easily like a match winning moment. No, on a knee again, driven across the chest. This right here, this is a statement. This is a statement that's being made by the women's champion. Two, three, get her done. Again, this one could have been over whenever it is that she wanted it to be because it was a couple different occasions where Mercedes could have put the match away, but she just decided not to. That is the top of the mountain in the women's division, and we're going to find out if we're going to see that matchup at revelations but coming up next a matchup we are going to see alucard goes one-on-one -on -one with coda next an elimination chamber qualifying matchup We're back here in the war zone with the vampire making his return and what a way it would be to return to the war zone if you qualify for the elimination chamber and then somehow some way do the impossible of winning the elimination chamber and then your legacy changes because your course after the elimination chamber, you now go one on one with a world heavyweight champion king. That's already defining right there. A lot of people want to be able to say that they've done that. And it ain't a huge list of people that can. So men that are qualifying for the elimination chamber, they got, of course, that matchup in their mind but they all have the end goal in mind. I mean, Alucard is no different. The man has had himself a nice amount of a rest and now he's here, he's ready. And I think Coda next is about to be in for a nice little surprise. Is this right here? This is gonna be, um, hello? Oh, 
Oh, what the hell? There's three of them. This is Code and X and there's two two individuals that he's brought with him. They appear to be followers of his in some form or fashion in a like Conan X was not dangerous enough on his own now uh, now he's, he's got these two individuals that are here Oh, this is a strange development for me. Like, I don't, I didn't even know what to say while we were seeing it. It's a really strange development. Um, where'd they go? Oh, no, they're down there. Oh my God, they're huge, man. What the hell? I mean, less, I can't really focus on the outside of the ring. It's coding inside the ring doing the work. Again, it's like, you got to think about this. Coden X was already bad enough on his own, but now being joined by these two other men is it's a little bit astonishing to me. Oh, he's up on the shoulders. Not even on the shoulders yet, but a fall away slam. I thought he was going to the shoulders. Oh, and Coden gonna shut him down with a DDT. And then he gonna rip his head off, boy. The count of six. Alucard don't know which way to go. You go back in the ring, you gotta deal with code, and you stay out there, you gotta potentially deal with them. Oh. We already know, though, the fight that's within Alucard. That man ain't going to never just lay down and take it. No. See, look at him. He's going to feed off of the energy of these people. He's going to do it every single time. Coden is going to have to literally beat the life out of this man for him to stay down. Because Alucard, we don't know him to ever just give in. But at this point, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think the end is here. And Coden, uh, oh my god, again, gonna take his head off. We're just looking at the size of these two. I don't, I don't even know if I can call them humans, bro, but it's like the size of the two men out there is astonishing to me. He's up, up, up. Oh, he's still holding you, cuz. He ain't, I don't know if he's holding you because uh, his arm is on the inside. Hey, that's tough. Done. That was real tough, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was real tough. Two and no. Drops on a knee. And then. But oh, he tried the combo and it didn't work out. I thought he had him low key. Hello? Up on the shoulder. Flipped him over. That was like with relative ease too. So that's scary. Oh, get that roll up. He gonna get that. Oh, I can't believe Alucard tried that though. Bro is trying anything to get this W over with. And they gonna make him pay for that now. Oh no. Be grateful that they just simply walked away. 
And then again, we haven't seen much involvement from them in this match. It's, it's like, even when we seen them come into the ring and oh, Cody, and he's going to choke the man out on the outside of the ring. Oh, he's able to break free. Okay. But I was saying, like, even what we witnessed during their entrance, it was like they didn't make relative action until it was almost directed, you know? It would, Jesus! He's just gonna toss you head over heels and just tumbling with no regard. For the body of Alucard after it landed. Two and no. Again, like I said, he's, he's going to literally have to do everything in his power to stop Alucard here tonight. But Alucard is so far thrown off his game like the rest of us because we weren't expecting this. Oh my God, the running elbow puts him to sleep. He grabbed that bottom rope. Oh, and he knew. Alucard knew that the referee wasn't going to see it and kicked out. Oh, man. What a swing and a miss. Okay. And he's going to grab you again, bro. Scooped him up. Dumped him on his back. Oh, another attempt. Bro, the second time he rolled him up. Alucard is really trying to steal one. That's crazy. Oh, that's tough. And y'all know the poetic part to this? Alucard lost a championship to that move right there. And he, oh, I thought he qualified with it. Alucard literally lost a championship to that move when he fought Azrael. But, you know, we ain't going to talk about all that. That boy, Coden rushed in. Now he's about to beat the life out of you. You earned every last bit of this. Every last bit of it, you earned it. Oh, what are you trying to do now? What are you gonna, oh, just dump him into the ropes then. All right. One, two, and no. That is unfortunate. The boy said, come here. He's going to throw him again. Look at it. Look. Just dump him again. Three times the charm. Because now, now he gonna put you to sleep. Hello? What? Whoa! Slipped his dump, boy. Get up. Did he block? Alucard just countered that. Oh, Coden this time. Now Coden is the man rolling him up. Coden stacked him. Oh, and he got him too. That's crazy. Coden said, all right, bro, you tried me twice and I let it go. But now, now it's my turn. I don't understand this, uh, this development of what we witnessed with these two men joining Coden to the ring. If you try to test, you'll see the truth. Hey, I am invincible. I am Aside from what we've seen, Elimination Chamber is for sure one week from Sunday. And it's going to be a crazy one because we got a nice amount of things that are going to take place. But we have business to take care of. Coming up next on Warzone is going to be an interesting thing for us to um, tell you about. Because... This was actually brought about in a off screen manner, you know? It was like a moment of reliving old memory. And that old memory took place at Road to Glory 2023, where Ian Chen met the joke. And this right here, this is all coming off of that because I can tell you based off of the encounters that were had between Ian Chen and the joke this Sunday, it's going to be a six man tag team matchup. 
The Sniper Club will indeed do battle. But you might ask yourself, do battle with who? The joke has been by himself. And I tell you, my viewer, you have been correct. But for no longer. You bring up old memories, you better be ready to deal with them. And those old memories come in the form of Jay and Big Joke, who are now joined by the United States Champion. But that six man elimination style tornado tag matchup is going to be at Elimination Chamber tonight. It is one on one. We have Jay going one on one with Tanaka. The wild cards have returned in there again at the side of the joke. Who in their right mind would call upon the jokes? Who would do it? No one would do it. You understand what I said? Who in their right mind? Ian Chen ain't been in his right mind for quite some time. My God. So we got Jay and a matchup against Tanaka. And this is just like tr truthfully one member of whatever team just trying to build some momentum into what this match is going to be and i can tell you guys more about it it's going to be a very very different stipulation we have not seen the tag team champions in quite some time but the winners of this six-man match will be declared the number one contenders to Andrew and Norton. And you can think about it this way. There is extra incentive for the joke as he would be looking to win this matchup because if he wins this matchup, not only are the jokes going to be the number one contenders, but he can put Ian Chen behind him. He wouldn't have to worry about him anymore and that'll be the end of their story. But if the Sniper Club just so happens to get a surprise victory like Jay almost did right there, they will become the number one contenders to the Tag Team Championships. And Ian Chen will get a championship matchup against a joke. But Tanaka just tried to fracture the spine of Jay. We always know Jay for being the wild card of the jokes in general. You never know what he's going to bring at you. Oh my God, boy, that was a stiff one right to your dome piece. I don't know what transformation the big joke has gone through. But him and Jay both look like they're moving different. Boy had a full head of steam and just damn near knocked his head up the rim. Tanaka somehow surviving. Oh, he's still not done. Big knee. You see the disappointment out there. It's disappointment all on that side of the ring. But now, no, oh, sweep the leg. He stepped back. What the hell? Boy, that's what I'm talking about. You never know what he gonna hit you with. I ain't never seen that before. The hell just happened? Whatever it was, it almost won in the match. Uh, 
Your boy Tanaka trying to do some work, but Jay out of the way. And you see the rest of the sniper club just swarming over there, but Jay is unfazed. Oh my God, the joke. Where did he come from? He was over there in a heartbeat. Now he's gone. That elbow to the spine. And now a cover by Jay. Oh. Where do you go? If you're Kazuya and you're you're the man in this match, they, your team needs you right now. My God, the big kicks. What is he looking to do here? Oh, just on the apron. Ian, what are you doing? That man is not afraid of you. You ran around there for what? You thought he was going to flinch? This man is fired up on a different level. You're not going to stop him. You're not going to scare him. Oh, but you could have slowed him down. You feel me? You you could have slowed him down just a little bit, but he's right back on the attack. Look at him. Bow. Sit down, boy. Guess what? He ain't done. Bow. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. That's the match right there. Oh. Bro, Tanaka must have like a glass jaw. No, did they both try something? I think they both tried to do face planted. Boy, that was his first convincing offensive move and it almost won him the match. And Jay making his way over to that corner, getting out of harm's way, but still not entirely clear because Tanaka's rolling now. Oh my God, to the back. Jay out the way. He said, yeah, you got that a little bit off, but that's about it, bro. Don't worry. I'm going to cover on Tanaka who kicks out. I don't think he's safe. Again, you never know what Jay is going to do, and I think he's flying. Yes, indeed. Bro, look at the look at the massive human that walked over there. Oh, I don't know if you wanted to do that, like for real, because uh, this man sees his own blood and it drives him crazy. So you, you probably did him a favor and yourself a disservice. We bought the fight. Oh, he returned the favor. That quick elbow into the rolling kick in the top of the head, bro. He had him stuck. And Kazuya able to grab the bottom rope, but that boy was shook. That elbow caught him flush, and he ain't know where the hell he was. He was able to regain himself, but that was almost really bad really quick. The super kick missed. Let's send him into the corner for another. Line him up. Knock him down. And he gonna stomp your arm out. He gonna stomp your arm out, boy. Yeah, yeah, he gonna stomp your arm out some more. And the joke is applauding this. Oh man, I think he was still asleep. I think bro was still asleep off that one in the corner. We seen his jaw was red. Like, how many times is bro gonna have to sleep you? And he said victory is secured. Look at the size of Big Joe. If this is the scene at Elimination Chamber, it's going to be a really, really dark day for the tag team champions. But coming up next, it is something that I've been waiting for in the night. The Cruiserweight Tournament continues as Jushin goes one-on-one -on -one with Kevin. Back here in the war zone, and of course, that man Jushin 
You've been looking clean in this tournament so far. Will it continue? Will it continue and drive him to the finals? Is that what's going to happen? Or is the young man that states he's in his prime gonna show the luchador how you're really supposed to have a cruiserweight matchup? But nevertheless, I ain't gonna lie. I've been actually surprised with all of the cruiserweight matches that we've seen because it's been a different take on what we're used to seeing here in Warzone. We don't normally see a clash of styles. It's normally the same of the age old, you know? Like there's the underdog and then there's the for sure I'm gonna beat this guy anyway type of person. But I, I, I enjoy this cruiserweight situation because it's two men with a very similar style they got very similar styles and it's almost like they're both here to demonstrate what they ain't been able to and kevin and jushin are two of the people that have been seen on warzone programming but have not had that grand chance but since getting that grand chance they've done nothing short of pull off some amazing things and now the unfortunate thing is that only one of them can go on to the finals. And the bell rings and he's gonna rush in with that knee. He gonna miss one. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Why you ain't let him go? He said it like four times. You just, don't, just let him go. Don't drop him on his back. I think for Kevin. This is going to start out with trying to ground the luchador. He can, of course, take to the skies when he needs to, but a quick, quick motion by Jushin as a submission applied. Rolling through. Look at this. Look what I tell you. Ah, give it to him. And then Kevin with a DDT. Again, it's all about grounding the luchador, and then he's going to show you. Bow! He gonna ground him, but he gonna fly his damn self unless he does this. And it's the quick nature that Jushin Torres actually has inside of him to pull off these explosive but crazy looking moves. And he just turns something normal into a Hurricane Rana or like, I don't even know what to call with this. Oh my God, the springboard into the back elbow. That was again, that was like seamless offense. How do you come from one move? It's like a helicopter spin to springboarding into a back elbow. How do you do that in such a seamless transition? You asked Jushin how he did it. Oh, but he's gonna take out the legs. He said, nah, none of that. They're starting to pick up the pace. This is scary now. Oh, boy, he spent you around with one kick and flattened you. The cover, shooting the half. My God, he ain't done. He gonna keep up to him? Oh, I guess we'll hold that. Bow! Said hold that. Now the referee probably just saved Jushin's life because she was in the way. But Kevin gonna stomp down. Don't let him do it. Oh, what the hell? Boy. Was it like a springboard stunner or something? What the hell was that? Send him into the ropes. Oh, a very European uppercut. No, oh, you in the drop zone now. You in the drop zone now. I told you he can fly too. I don't know why you ain't believe me. But he gonna show you the day, boy. He gonna show you the day. What not? What not? Oh my God! He's gonna kick him in the face. Then drag him. Kevin Barnett came into this matchup with a game plan, and he's worked it beautifully. Jushin has been trying to keep up. 
and his try to keep up ain't worked. Uh oh, guess what? Turn it around in a Falcon's arrow. Make me wrong in DDT. Go ahead, just make me wrong. Make me wrong in that entire statement that I just made. Because Jushin's coming now. You got to do a lot of work, though, to kind of close the gap that Kevin's made. But he's damn sure doing it right now. You're going to take it to the skies. Oh, Kevin already knew it. Oh, jumped over him. Let's go. What do you want? Oh, my God. He ain't even have to do you like that. Bro said made you look goofy. Kicked him in the head. Oh, Kevin did him dirty. Kevin planted him the cover to to advance. He does not. The crazy, crazy matter of moments that just happened. Yeah, Jushin trying to pull off something. Mm. That big well-placed knee. He's going to go right back again to this head scissor move. But Kevin is in trouble. He's reeling now. But a kick out at one. It still shows life. Send him into the corner. Oh, got the feet planted firmly in his mask and driven down on his neck. And it seems to be the focus of the onslaught from Kevin Barnett now. He's attacking the neck of Jushin. Oh, that was the quickest kick I've probably ever seen. I'm going to keep stomping on his face. It's kind of surprising, but it also speaks volumes. We've seen Jushin slow down in this matchup. And I guess that kind of speaks to the credit of Kevin of what it is that he's doing with his strategy. Oh, but here we go. Here we go. Juice and striking. Oh, with everything he's got. And he's going to send him back into the ring. And he's going to put a bow on this one. Just put a bow on it. Just go ahead and tie it up. Send him off on his way. Uh oh, send him into the corner. Oh, we seen this. No, we not going to get to see it tonight. Kevin got him too well scouted down on the knee. Kevin has this man far too scouted. But does Jushin? No, he does not. Rolling through with a beautiful DDT that closes out the tournament for the Luchador. Again, man, y'all just seen it. Y'all seen it. Another example of what it is that these cruiserweights can pull off. This is wild. I don't know what else to say, man. After what we just witnessed, I can tell y'all that it's going to be a hell of a show next week. It's going to be all kicking off with King Kyle going one on one with Adam Dixon in an Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup. That's going to be one of those you don't want to miss. But another thing that you're not going to want to miss on this show, the women of Warzone. They all have rankings and the top six women are going to compete in the elimination chamber. But there's a dilemma. Two women have the same number and only one of them can go on to the elimination chamber. Will it be ruined? 
or Kyrie Chen. And then we must find our last member of the men's elimination chamber matchup. But Tyler has felt wrong. He has not had a chance to qualify. So I'm going to do the nice thing, give him a qualifying matchup. The only thing is, he will not find out who his opponent is until next week. And speaking of the women's elimination chamber matchup, it will be to see who's going to compete against my Lee. My Lee was not selected a part of the Royal Rumble winner. So to find her challenger, we turn our attention to the women's elimination chamber matchup. And again, next week, we will find out who that last spot is going to go to. Will it be Ruin, who has struggled for quite some time now? Can she turn her luck around and actually qualify and potentially reclaim the Women's Intercontinental Championship? But my has kind of been making some waves, though. She's been making some waves, but tonight, oh, she's going to have to make some more. She's going to have to make a lot more. Her opponent tonight comes from a very familiar place, a very legendary place. You all know of the legend Van Sisi. Now you will learn of the legend known as Teresa. This is her debut here in Warzone. And there's no better way to do it than to actually compete against a women's intercontinental champion. Because again, you gotta think about something. Miley started out her run of being the women's intercontinental champion and it was questioned. It was questioned because she had no credibility. But if you ask me, the last two title defenses that she's had, I got a different outlook on her. It's not entirely changed, but I for sure can see that she can go with the best of them. And this right here, this is one of the best of them. Y'all ain't seen her, but you understand the legendary family. So you understand exactly what it is going on. Look at this. This is about to be one and done. Oh my God. I was about to say, you come in to your debut matchup, nail one move on the women's intercontinental champion and pick up a win. That's history. That's never going to be forgotten. You have the solid momentum of my lead has just been working soundly. It's like she had her breakout moment and has not been stopped since. And Teresa is just getting a small introduction to what it is to be here in the war zone. The snap mirror into a drop kick. That's a long jump, bro. You show? Oh, I guess you are. My fault. That's my fault. I guess you are sure. I ain't gonna question you no more. The kick to the lower back is floor and Teresa. No, wow. Boy, she put some power behind that throw. Now throw her over by her head. We got Teresa trying to maneuver, boy. Did you see it? The chain maneuvers. She, oh, she took that very knee that you just hurt and drove it right into your face. That was the very same knee you got out the way of and it hit the floor. The referee's count just got shut down with a knee to the midsection. 
shuts down my leap. Roll through. Hello? Let me find out. Oh my god, the dog in power that just came out of Teresa. She drove the wind out of her. I can see her, bro. She's done. She's out of there. Oh, beautiful elbow drop. She ain't done, no. She ain't done, no. Y'all know who you're dealing with. Woo! You damn well don't know who you're dealing with. Woo! Bing into the corner. What you looking to do? I know y'all like to do some wild stuff. Oh, on the shoulder. Oh. Oh, no. She got caught lacking. She got caught lacking a beautiful maneuver, but then she got folded over. That's crazy. A very game. Oh. I was calling her last right. So I'm saying like a very game Teresa and you just. You kicked out. I, I didn't expect that. Already serving her last rights and everything, and she's still here. Chop. Man, she's been really, really heavy on his leg, huh? Smack. Backstabber. A backstabber to my Lee, and she kicks out. Bro, she ain't done with you. Get up. Get up. I gotta see her do it. I gotta see her do it. She gonna get my oh boy, boy. She ran with you. She didn't even have to baby you like that. Why does she pick you up and run with you like that? You see my Lee trying. She's trying something. I don't know what she's trying for. Either way, Teresa not gonna let it happen. Oh, not this again. Not this again. Not this again. Into the corner. No, you better get out of there. Oh, you still not safe? She can fly too? My Lee, you better look out above. Oh, hello? Did she connect? It's like she grazed the side of her head. Kip up. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have did that. Face first on the oh boy. I seen your head whip back. Yeah, you smacked the apron kind of hard. Oh, sweep the legs. Stomp on the chest. That's how you easily take the wind out of somebody. Oh, she's going to do it again. Second time. Oh, you tried too much. You tried too much, and guess what? Done. Boy, my lead just got power bombed on the floor. Oh, and didn't she dumped her on her head? Referees count at eight, but Teresa, boy, she's out on her feet. And she still made it back in. Oh, oh, smack, smack. Oh my God, boy, why she fire up on you like that? Yeah. Quick suplex. Now you see Teresa measuring. Teresa measuring for another backstabber. Oh my God, huge upset incoming. A huge upset incoming. And now oh, Teresa defeats her. in her debut matchup defeating the women's intercontinental champion Teresa for sure showing she is somebody to be messed with oh you gonna remember this woman I for damn sure will but speaking of something that you're going to remember coming up next Again, a very big heavy hitter. Tala goes one on one with Travis Amir in an Elimination Chamber qualifying match.
back here in the war zone with our main event. The up and coming Tala is looking to change the direction of his career. There are some of those moments that are kind of created and you don't expect them to be. Tala has a chance to do one of those right here, right now. Beating somebody the caliber of Travis Amir gives you a huge ton amount of momentum heading into the elimination chamber. But as we all know, it is no easy task. Defeating Travis Amir is one of those things like wrestling king. It's not a long list of people that can say they've done it. But Tala, for damn sure, would like to add his name to that very small list. That massive man Tala is awaiting Travis Amir for us to be almost done with this saga of Warzone on 2K23. I can easily say without argument that Travis Amir has had probably the best year of any superstar on the roster. And that is including anybody that you want to throw on that list. Insert your favorite superstar here. It does not compare to what it is that Travis Amir has done with his career in this calendar year. And you know the bad part? The calendar year, it ain't over. Travis could be one of the men to possibly close out his year doing battle with King. We never know how any of these situations are gonna turn out. But nevertheless, he's gonna be going into this matchup with Tala and neither man is normally in I guess you can say extremely, I don't know what to call them, like flashy matches. Neither man is here to make something look good. They're here to put their hands on you, square up and knock your teeth down your throat. That's what it is that both men want to do. And Travis hyping himself up before bulldozing through Tala. This is what he's going to have to contend with. You get brought up to this big level of a fight. You got to be ready for what Travis is going to bring. Because now, now you're allowing him to work. And if you allow Travis to work, he's going to run straight through you. Yeah, off those ropes going under. Pow, a big knee right off the face. This again, it's like I said, man, Travis is working soundly. You got to be able to disrupt that. And that's in any way possible. You got to be able to shut it down. Let's send him back into the ring and Tala. 
A suicide dive to the outside and Travis Amir rolls from the carnage. I was expecting this to be a heavy hitter, but Travis Amir has just been displaying why it is that my statement is true. What the hell is he? Oh, he's gonna do nothing. But get dropped onto the floor. I fear that it's only gonna take that one big move from either one of these men. That's the thing I'm really fearful of. But Travis ain't playing. He said, get back in here. Get back in here. Get back in here. Get back in here. The count of nine and Tala just barely makes it back into the ring. And Travis is right on the assault. And Travis is right on the assault, but Tala has slowed down. He slowed down after these right hands from Travis. And now Travis is making it look easy. They go back to his feet. Trying to get some offense going. Missing a Samoan drop. But that right there, he planted him. And Travis kept up. This man, Travis, is a man possessed. I don't understand. Tala has literally... He, he's had offense. But every time he has his... It's Travis getting right back up to his feet and just continuing the ass beating. And these well placed knees to the midsection. And again, it's just like he's been a man possessed and has not at all showed a sign of slowing down. But this, this is, he's still not, he still escapes. Travis Amir step back kick to the face and makes the history bro that was one of the fastest main events I've ever seen that man said dusting my hands off we on to the next one and you know what so are we we got a jam-packed show for your next week. Travis Amir qualifies. We get to find out who else will qualify and punch their ticket to the Elimination Chamber. But I've been Apex the New King. This has been Warzone Professional Wrestling. I'll see everybody next week. Take care. And peace. That's right, bow to the king. Oh.